Hey everyone, welcome back to All of Ash and Dust, where I'm recording this for the second time because not that I lost footage or anything, but this, this fucking demon is is driving me absolutely up the wall. There is just no other way to say this. Um, his hitboxes are fucked up. This is a super narrow narrow ledge to fight this enemy on. Uh, there's a constant health drain, and I am sick as fucking hell of this um because i lit literally just crapped a 15 minute recording because it was just me running up to this guy dying to him and running back and dying to him so the start to this episode can be described with sodium um i'm going to be fairly sodium filled today I'm not going to lie but as soon as I kill this thing I think that sodium is going to get absorbed and I'll be in a way better mood yeah this fight has I mean and this is not the mod or anything like that this fight is mad annoying in normal normal Dark Souls 2 I mean Dark Souls uh, playthroughs as well because he has an absolutely messed up hitbox he does messed up damage and it's just messed up you know you know so I'm really hoping that this is the attempt And I gotta be real careful because he can wipe me with one one jumping attack. Eat shit. Fuck you. Hate this enemy. Oh, I feel so much better. Now we can properly get started here. Welcome, finally, back to Of Ash and Dust. Where I'm just chilling now. Because that felt satisfying as all hell. Finally. <sighs> Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna turn back into human form to celebrate. And I think we're gonna move on. Uh, I will have to kill... I was thinking that I might not have to kill Centipede Demon, because I have lost Isolith unlocked now. But I realized that we gotta... Yeah, it's messed up that they put one of these worms here, like seriously. Um, and I tried killing it uh, out of my frustration in that previous like video that you're never gonna see. Um, I killed this thing out of frustration thinking it was a one-time spawn and it's not. It respawns right in front of the bonfire. So I'm gonna have to take out Centipede because of Solaire. But I think actually this bonfire might be easier with the elevator. Right? Because if I think about it... I'd rather go down like a short elevator ride than fight... Or try to fight past that worm every single time. Yeah, elevator definitely beats out that thing. Plus, technically, if I think about it, uh, like, it wouldn't be too much to go back to... I'm going back. I'm gonna upgrade my weapon. I Let me just check. Let me just check. Four. That's what we need. Yeah. Because this is gonna take nothing. Because of the gravestone outside of Quelag's <clears throat> boss room, excuse me. Hell yeah, that's gonna be. That's gonna be the shit. Listen, is a plus five weapon gonna make that much of a difference? Probably not, but every little piece of damage counts, you know. I'm not going to like give up anything. 
That's for fucking sure. So anyways, yeah. Today is Saturday, by the way. I'm recording this currently instead of the Saturday stream. Because I had a stream yesterday on Friday playing some Ashen, you know, which is a really fun game, even though basically no one gives a shit about it uh, from my audience outside of a few people. Um, but I'm really liking the game, so I'm playing it because because I want to play it, you know. That's kind of the thing. That's the thing. I oh shit! Yeah, don't step on that. That's one of the things that's always been like something I just kind of had to accept with my channel is that. Um, if I don't play one of the Souls games, uh, the viewership tends to be fairly atrocious. Um, whether I'm doing one of these uh, recorded videos or whether I'm streaming, it's just how it is. You know, if you are concentrated on one, and it's just not like me bitching or anything like that. That's the same for uh, every YouTuber in the history of YouTube. If you're like doing one type of content, whether it's Street Fighter, Dark Souls, whatever, um, Final Fantasy, you are basically, you tend to be boxed into that one category and YouTube being YouTube, you know, with the way the algorithm works and everything and it not really like pushing content um, which is outside of like the audiences kind of like comfort zone it just guarantees that uh, most people won't even see your shit but again it's pretty much how YouTube has worked in the history of YouTube like if you are if it sees you watching something and liking something like, like liking, liking a channel for one type of video it's gonna push that The only thing that makes it difficult is when there's like a Souls game dry spell, you know, i.e. your boy doesn't have a PS5, so no Demon Souls. And I'm like, fuck, th this health drain is like insane. Okay, let me just switch topics. This health drain is fucked up. Like, I, I thought it was just a little bit, but... God damn. Hopefully it's not going to be... It's going to be going through the entire boss fight, isn't it? It's kind of annoying. Okay, the quiver situation is... Fucking off with the sword on the back. Oh, we've seen this cutscene a million times. Nice. Oh, that hitbox. That hitbox. <sighs> well, nobody ever said this boss was anno wasn't annoying. Do we even need to... I think we do need to summon Solaire, right? For him to spawn after. No? Well, I'm not gonna take a risk, that's for sure. We got the orange... Chad ring anyways. So it's not gonna even matter. And of course, once we're done here... A couple of episodes ago... I think it was last episode, I think I titled the video... Can they salvage this area? And no, they didn't. Um, I think think I can off officially say that Lost Isolith is more irritating than ever uh, in this mod. Like... 
before Lost Isolith was a shitty area. Uh, in this mod, it's an annoying shitty area, uh, which is which is even more like this constant health drain and just this like annoying placement of enemies. So I'm sure as hell gonna take my shortcut and just rush through because fuck that noise straight to bed of chaos and we're gonna get the hell out of here it looks like Maybe I'm wrong, but it looks to me like the orange shard ring reduces the health drain a little bit. And yeah, that previous death was technically my stupidity. So I should still just run to the back. Unless Solaire is gonna go off on his own. He's gonna go off on his own, isn't he? Yes, he is. Come on, Solaire. I thought it was stuck for a second. Like, no cap. Kama, you're so slow. Oh, that, that attack is... messed up. And he has a habit of spamming it. Okay, I think we got this now. Like the real challenge with this guy is getting him out of the lava and onto the ground. Once you have him out here, uh, he becomes an absolute bitch. Just that's the part is, that's difficult to do. Because he has a habit of just standing back and spamming that like longer, longer range attack. Yeah, I'm gonna R2 him. Thanks, Solaire. Oh, nice. Red Tide, nice lab. That's never gonna be used. Cool. I'm only going here to trigger the Solaire kind of event. Although, is he gonna be here? No, he still shows up. You still have to talk to him. Even if you've killed the Sunlight Maggot already. Like, Emo Solaire needs to be hit up. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Why? Something weird is happening in this area. Uh, shit is like taking damage all over the place, but like nothing is really happening, you know what? As mentioned, I am going to be perfectly happy not to have to bother with Lost Eyes Lith. The issue is we need to go back to the warm bonfire, don't we? Yeah, we do. Oh yeah, and by the way, I tried killing that worm with pyromancies, but it doesn't take jack shit damage from fire. Which is, I guess, kind of obvious, but still. I am really, really hoping that they tone down Bed of Chaos somehow. The question is, the real question is, can you even do anything to that boss to make it less of a irritation can't really think of anything unless you like change the whole fight and make like a whole character model for like bed of chaos as like a monster or something and put him there or put her there uh, outside of that I don't see how 
you could salvage this fight. I'm going with HP because Actually, my HP is not the issue. My issue is the Estus flasks that I don't have uh, plus two or plus three Estus. And yeah, I did try checking the wiki. And that shit doesn't say where you can find more Estus. Now, this Titanite Demon responds, doesn't he? Yeah, because this is the one you're meant to farm. Of course, this is the one that you're meant to farm. You want demon weapons, bitch? You better be working for it. I felt like killing these. So, it, of course, the delicate balance here is somehow running past him. Or beyonding, holy shit. Yeah, that first unseen recording. It fucked me up, man, honestly. There's a range. No, there isn't. I thought there was a finite range to that. What would be nice if there was a bonfire here? Somewhere. I doubt there is. The weirdest enemy in the game. Stop jumping. Like, what were they smoking when they came up with this thing? Oh nice, Black Knight Helm. Here? Really? It's a strange place for this item. I mean, I'm sure that Lost Isolith contains a bunch of interesting treasure, but... Kinda not really... <gasps> Bruh. There's a Black Knight here. Am I stoned? What is he doing? He's not hostile. Oh shit. <gasps> Look at how much damage he takes. Save him. Well done. What is he doing? Okay, we have a buddy. A Black Knight buddy. Hey, there's like a bunch of demons here. Of all varieties. Oh, because they're like demon hunters, aren't they? The Black Knights. I'm being kind of careless here because... He doesn't have a lot of HP left. And I want to save him. I wonder if this is like a quest line or something. I think he's dead. And the big question is... If I go back, does he respawn? That's pretty cool though. Oh nice, bursting flame. <gasps> There's another one. I keep thinking this is like Night Law Trek, but it's not. The way they're sitting, they're sitting in the Night Law Trek position. Oh, this is kind of cool. That's what's happening here. The thing I see of like things dying. This is what's going on.
All right, it all makes sense. Where is he going? Bro, wait. Okay. They're like they're like really going off on their own path. Or some shit. Like uh, seeking out all the demons. Okay, there that's where he's going. Let's see how much ass he can kick. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Alright. Black Knight. You ain't the most skilled combatant out there, which is strange. Because you should be. And I should check out that pyromancy. And there's a warp point. Wonder if they would fight Kirk too. Ah, who gives a shit? Interestingly, the second Kirk encounter didn't happen. This is still Chaos Fire Whip. And speaking of, uh, speaking of, I don't know what. Speaking of something, I have a lot of souls. And the question is, is it worth sacrificing my one deformed coin for this? I mean, it very much depends on where it leads. Because then we gotta go to other places too. Okay, let's see. Bursting fire 18? Seriously? How's a fireball which explodes into several fire... Okay. That's what I was kind of thinking it was going to do. I mean, I'm not like very, very far away. In fact, people who always roast me about not using items, uh, this is kind of sometimes why I do it. it. Gives me a perfect chance to like boost myself, you know, or something. I'm kind of curious on what this looks like. Let's switch a normal fire. Oh shit, that black knight straight up gets done dirty. Oh fuck. <laughs> That is an interesting spell. Um, probably good against thick boys. Thick boys and girls. Probably not going to be so good against the bed of chaos. But what is? You know what? Screw it. I'm going to be brave. They usually give you one deformed coin pair area. So... You know, it's like not not the end of the world. Questions: Well, the, where the hell does this lead? Firelink Shrine. Okay. Well, there's no other way but forward, right? Man, I'm not looking forward to this. What's better than Battle of Chaos? What the fuck? It's more of these black knights. Oh, hello. What the shit? It's right here. 
the little thingy. The little bug thingy. Uh oh. This thing has a lot of HP. Is this the gimmick? Is this the new gimmick? That you have two of these bitches hunting you and you need to like I think I figured it out. And I guess the Black Knights can provide distraction. But that's about it. What the shit is going on? Okay, it still activates. Hmm. I have a very initial impression that I'm going to hate this. Because that thing has a lot of HP. The question is, can you poison it or something? I mean, most likely not, but... So, okay. So I'm not gonna waste time. Fuck. Oh yeah, I didn't mention that I also had two gin and tonics today, so... That's maybe why I'm a bit slower than usual. Okay, you wake up. The question is, can you get the Black Knights to attack the bla the bed of the bled of chaos? Fucking Jester Thomas up in here. Seriously like Jester Thomas. And this is all with a constant health drain. Keep that in mind. Wow, those black knights do not last long. Holy fuck. I'm I'm Luckily that thing is still inaccurate as hell. You know when I said that I think I'm going to hate this? It's not think. I hate this. <laughs> This is... <laughs> this fucking sucks. Um, I mean, it's down to... Oh, she's so fast. They're both so fast. Maybe one-handing is the key. Okay, when she does Firestorm, that's like... an ideal situation. I'm screwed. So how the hell did I even make it out of there unscathed? Can you parry her? No. She's too ghostly for that. Is there more black knights here maybe? I'm like running around like a chicken with its head cut off. But this is not as difficult as it seemed. I mean, it seemed like that thing has a, had a shit ton more HP. And it still has a lot, but... It's not as deadly as it looked.
Luckily, I have a big fuck you weapon in uh, Artorius's great sword. God, why can't you self damage? One more. Is that it? Oh. Okay. I mean, that was better. I'll, I'll say that was better than Vanilla Bed of Chaos. For sure. Um, not sure if less annoying. The jury is still out on that. Pyromancy Meltdown. What is this? Final Fantasy VIII? I see the word meltdown. I 25, 25. Oh, this is like some like ultimate fuck you pyromancy. If I see the word meltdown, I immediately think of Final Fantasy VIII, where that that spell is like how you cheat on the game, because um, that like solves all your problems. Problems, problems. God, I can't even talk. I don't even know how long I've been going. I'm gonna be genuinely honest with you here. Genuinely honest with you, that sounds so stupid. Yeah, I ain't getting 25 25, that's for fucking sure. Uh, so instead, let's concentrate on what matters. I need more endurance. And we need to figure out where to proceed to next. Yep. I'm not gonna tell you because I want you to be alive. This guy is so nice. He's like much nicer than some of the other NPCs. That's why I don't want him to die. It's for his own good. Um, I think think though what where we need to go next is I mean Duke's archives and the DLC that's like the only two things left and Anna Londo you warp to from yeah I mean remembering these warp locations is have the challenge you know Actually, you know what? I think thinking back on it now, this Battle of Chaos fight was pretty cool. Um, the, the Black Knights could have lasted slightly longer. Uh, but I guess there needs to be some challenge. I mean, anything is better than being stuck in an endless loop of hellish, like falling into bottomless pits. Seriously, how did they ever think that platforming is what a Souls boss fight should be centered on? The age-old thing is definitely true. Sorry, itchy ear. Um, that they just ran out of time. Threw, threw together something. In Orlando, let's go. Where in An Orlando does this take you? Oh, here. Okay. It's actually not the worst place to be. It's for parrying me. Yeah, this is actually not the worst place. Because we can just go back. Oh, hello. I forgot that there is this many of you here. So what I'm going to do is I'll head back up the... Oh, but you know what's here as well the fucking dream boss or whatever which I'm like really curious about 
There's normal Gwendolyn as well. And the painted world. Actually, I don't think I have the peculiar doll, do I? I do have it. Okay. So, lots of options. Lots of options. Um... Should we do painted? The issue is you get stuck in there, like... I don't know, bruh. Yeah, let's do Gwendolyn. Actually, there is no bonfire here, is there? Yeah, there is no bonfire here. Uh, you're gonna have to move the elevator every single time, won't you? I am not sure if this is worth it. I mean, Gwendolyn does not give you that many souls. I'll think on it. I'll think on it. I think this is the bonfire of choice though, right? Here. Like it doesn't get much better than this one. Anyways, we're gonna go back up and I think what I'm gonna do is uh, we'll head back upstairs and then that like gives us a nice crossroads to figure out what the fuck I wanna do. Cause we have Duke's archives, of course. But we also have so much more. Oh hey. Talk about sick timing. It's like when you catch the bus just right. Says the person who hasn't... Well no, I, I have been on the bus these past couple of years of course when I was going somewhere with the purpose of drinking well that was still a thing you could do now I just drink at home hence the two gin and tonics the aforementioned gin and tonics okay so here's what I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here um, As stated, I'll figure out what I want to do. We have three paths here. Maybe checking out the painted world would be good. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. As always, turn on post notifications and oh shit, that was wonderful. I just straight up hit my mic. Sorry for the ear rape. Take care and see you next time. Goodbye.